Welcome to our lesson about the mirror command. Let's begin by activating. It's located on the Modify panel of the Home tab. It's on the Expanded menu, so we need to click the flyout arrow to see it. Here's the 2D mirror tool. Don't confuse it with this tool here, which is the 3D mirror tool. The mirror command creates a copy of an object across an axis or object that you specify. Left click to activate the tool. We're prompted to select the object or objects that we want to mirror. Let's select my circle. Right click to indicate that the selection is finished. Now we're asked to specify the first point of the mirror line. Let's select the end point of this line and the second point of the mirror line. And for the second point, we'll take this end point here. Do we want to erase the source object? Let's enter N for no. And we've created a mirror image of this circle across this line. Let's move to my next example. Let me just pan to the right. Here I want to create four copies of this circle and rectangle within this larger rectangle. First, let's create some support geometry. I'm going to create some guidelines using object snaps. Let's activate the line tool. Let's snap to the bottom left corner of my rectangle, to the midpoint of the top segment, and down to the midpoint of the bottom segment. Let's right click on the object snap toggle and enable the perpendicular snap point. Right click and enter to finish our previous line. And let's activate the line tool again. Let's snap from this midpoint to a perpendicular point on the top segment. Enter. Basically, this point here represents the midpoint of the smaller rectangle. The last line that I created is my line of symmetry, and I'm going to use that to create mirror copies of the circle and the rectangle. Now we need to activate the mirror tool. Let's go to the Modify panel and click on the Expanded Menu sub-arrow. Left click on the Mirror tool. First, we select the objects to mirror. I'll take the rectangle and the circle. Right click. Now we specify the first point of the mirror line, that's this end point. The second point of the mirror line will be the other end point of this line. Erase the source objects, no. And here is our mirrored copy of the circle and rectangle. Now I'm going to make a copy of both circles and rectangles using this line here as my line of symmetry. Let's activate the mirror command again. And let's select the objects to copy with a left to right window selection. That takes in objects only fully contained within the selection window. We right click to finish the selection. First point to the mirror line. Second point to the mirror line. There's our preview. Do we want to erase the source objects? No. And here is our mirrored copy of both rectangles and circles. Lastly, let's mirror the four circles in the bottom portion of the rectangles to the top portion of the rectangles. Right click to finish the selection. Our first point on the line of symmetry and second point of the mirror line and you see the preview up above, right click and enter to accept. And let's delete our support geometry now. Let's select this line and delete this line and delete as well. This concludes our lesson about the mirror tool. Let's save our work and close this document.